Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So for today we would like to present our group project of ECS 268 from class E2. And we present it on 14 July 2022 on Thursday week 14. So this is our team members. We glad that finally we are able to finish this group project in the time given. And thanks to all the team's members. So this is our team members. And the first one, me myself, Muhammad Nabi Abu Rafia. Uh, then Nasuha Ismail. And the last one is Saifuddin Zamzuri. So this is the contents of our group project. First one is introduction. Then proceed with material and apparatus, include machines, and then methodology, result and analysis. Then last one is conclusion. So for the introduction, ways of coconut shell. This for our project we use coconut shell. Then coconut shell is one of agriculture waste in our industries. It is available in great numbers through world. Therefore, we do think that coconut shell is one of most economical and cost-effective material to our concrete design. Composite strength of coconut shell concrete has been evaluated on the seven and also in the twenty-eight. The compressive strength of coconut shell concrete was reduced as percentage replace increase. So this is the photos of materials that we use along conducting this group project. First, for the cost aggregate, we use of five point point zero six kilogram for size sieve of ten millimeter, and then we have zero point zero six kilogram. For size sieve of 20 millimeter, and for additional materials, which is we use coconut shell, we have 0.412 kilogram, and for fine aggregate, which is sand that has been sieved and dried for few days to remove its water content, we use the amount of 7.77 kilogram for water. We use amount of water which is 2.53 liter, and less materials that we use is cement that we have weighed it into 4.44 kilogram. So this is the materials that we will use in the mixture process. These are the photos of apparatus we use along conducting this project for seeing the mixture, prepare the materials, and so on. Okay. One of the apparatus that we use are shovel, tray, wheelbarrow, two cube mold, and one piece of mold, steel rod, and another mold. These are the photos of machines that we use to conduct compressive strength, pressure test, to mixing the mixture of cement and other materials, and the last one is concrete mold vibration that we use to compact the mixture of cement to the mold. So as you can see, these are four machines that we use with the guidance of lecturer and lab. The methodology that we use for this project, I have concluded and summarized it into few points, which is we can see for the first step, we have to find an additional materials which is coconut shell, and we have made a few research why we choose this coconut shell as our materials, and then. By using the additional materials, we have to complete the mix design concrete table, referring to the lab report or lab manual. Okay. For the second step, we have to prepare the materials needed, including sieving, drying, separating process of the materials. It is meaning that 
for the cost aggregate and fund aggregate we have to wait sieve and dry it for a few days and then we have to spread it into different container so that we will not be confused in the future for the missing process the third, the third one is we have to mix the materials installing two cube of mold and one mold shape okay so we have to put all of the nut screw and so on at every edge of the mold we have to make sure that each nut and screw that has installed to the mold is tight so that when we do put, when we do the compression process it will not screw away and we have also to apply grease into the mold onto the wall of mold okay so for the first step for the fourth step which is we have to make slump test so the function of slump test is to test the mixture of concrete and then after we make the slump test we should determine whether our mixed concrete design is successful or not if it is successful we can proceed with the next process which is fill in the mixture of concrete into the mold and do the compression process using the vibrating machine if the slump test is failed and do not achieve the required movement, the do not achieve the required value which is 20 millimeter slump test we have to mix the mixture again for the fifth one is we have to let the mixture of cement in the mold dry for 24 hours and come back on the next day to uninstall the mold after that we have to do the curing process for the curing process we have put the concrete into tub with water then on the seven day on the days of on the day seven we have to bring out the concrete mold bring out the concrete from the tub and what it with loads and then we have to run the compressive test for one cube of concrete record the data and then for the day 28 we have to run again compressive test for second cube concrete and for prism concrete we have to conduct natural test and the last one is we have to make calculation discussion and conclusion so based on the results data and so on we have completed the project procedure and for the broken concrete are thrown into proper disposal area for footage of moments first feature is preparing materials and then mixing materials and then we do the slump test after that um, fill into mold next is compaction of mixture after that we do the curing process after curing process we have compressive strength test for uh, cube sample and flat zero test for prism sample uh, and we have completed the project and last one is our picture disposal of broken concrete so um, this is our result for compressive strength of concrete that we use our sample which is cube and uh, the first one is 7 days and the second one is 28 days so for 7 days the strength percent is 65 percent and 28 days is 99 percent the minimum of compressive strength at 7 days and 28 days are 20 mpa and 30 mpa respectively so for the flexural test result in compression in compressive strength we get 26.64 MPA on day 7. On day 28, we get 23.90 MPA. And last one on the slump test, we get 20 millimeter. We do a table. We do the table and 
name parameter unit E2 to 1 Second table Maximum force Calculate Calculation And entire areas We get 5038.36 Newton The table Maximum stress Calculation and entire areas 3.40089 Newton per Millimeter square So that's all from us. Thank you, Madam Ashita. We love you.